Hello everyone and welcome to this Groovy Jmeter tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will learn about if else statement. But what we will do is that we will be using a API and then we will build our concept around some scenario. So let's begin. So basically, first we will understand what is if else. So for example, if I ask you, just go to library and grab a book of Jmeter. Okay. Now, this is a one statement here. For example, you go there and you didn't find the Jmeter book. Then what you will do? So here, if I say, just go to library, grab a book of Jmeter. If book is not available, grab me a book of Groovy. Now, you see that? Here we are using if. Okay. And for example, even if there is a no book available for the Groovy, then what? Now, I'm changing my statement over here. Just go to the library, grab a book of Jmeter. If the Jmeter book is not available, grab a book of Groovy. Else, grab a book of Python programming. Now, if, else are both covered. So, in the programming if else work in the same way i say if this is true okay if not then this one okay so for this particular tutorial i will be using this api from here so this is basically json placeholder dot type code.com here you can just scroll down here and here you see that we have a get call for the post one so if I click on this one, so what it will do is that it will give me all the content about this particular user one, ID one, and the title of the post and the body of the post here. Okay, so uh, let's go to the Jmeter over here. And inside this test plan, just go add thread, thread group. Now inside this thread group, go to the HTTP request because this is a HTTP request and this is basically if i go back here so it's a https so let me copy this one and go back to the jmeter and then we need to provide an ip or a server name so if i go back here so this is basically a server name over here so copy this one and go back here provide this one and then we need to set a method so this is a get so already the get is set over here and we need to provide a path so path is always after the forward slash so if i go back here so this is the path so copy this one go back again and provide this one now uh let's name it as json api okay and now what I'll do is that let's go to third group again, add and add a simple listener. And let's run this one and see what happens over here. So API got executed successfully. And this is the request. And this is the response we are getting in this particular API. Okay. Now what I will do is that I will add one more sampler over here, which is JSR223 sampler and this sampler will be after this API request over here. The first thing is that I will create a variable and I will extract a code from this request. This is a previous request and convert it into an integer because whenever we hit an API, so we get this response code which is 200 and this is an integer value. Okay. So here, what we need to do is that I will say int status code is equals to so previous dot get response code, and then I need to convert this into a integer. So dot to integer integer okay and let's just print this one 
and just to show and let's see if either we are really getting this stress code or not okay so now let's run this one and if i go back here so you see that we got the status code 200 and this 200 is basically coming from this api this api is giving us this one right now what i will do is that i will be fetching the complete body okay so for that i will say the string response response body is equals to and then i am again using previous request previous dot get get response data as a string okay and again let's print this one and see either we are getting this information or not so let's print this one and run this one again and if i go here so you see that we got this to the code we got the whole response here in terms of the string okay now now let's come to the actual part now scenario is that we will be writing an if else statement and we will be writing like if the status code because here we are getting the status code and here we are getting the response body okay so what i will say if the status code is 200 this is my condition which i need to test i will say if the status code is 200 then we will log it okay else we will say that there is a error in the api because we haven't got the response okay so simply what i will do is that here if now we are verifying the status code okay if status code is equals to 200 then in the curly braces i will say log dot info and here i will say for example api response is okay and then i will go with printing the status code over here okay and because this statement is here then we need to go with this way so status so i'll copy this one so that we should not mess up with the things status code okay so this is a if a statement if this is 200 then it should go with this particular statement and this statement is basically logging that api response okay and it will print the actual response we are getting from the api request okay so if i run this one if i go back here so here you see that nothing is happening because we are now logging into the system okay this is a log right so if you remember we need to go to the log viewer and here we need to see if this so you see that we got some error right because it says that it's not start of failed and we got some exception so whenever we are trying to log something and we, if we got some error we need to understand what is happening so this is the exception we are getting over here right so this is if you go scroll down so this is the the code or something this is a problem so let's go back and what i'll do here and see what is happening so let me close this one and the problem here is that we haven't closed this statement okay so what we need to do is that instead of the quotes at the end we need to go with a small bracket okay now let's run this one and now if i go here go to the log viewer now this time see what happens and again we are getting this error over here it says like this one okay and if i clean this one and run this one again so this time there's no error here and here you will see that the sampler this one 
the, this one actually it says that api response is okay and we are getting coded so, so this means that our code is absolutely working fine now let me close uh, this one again and here if this not happens then what okay for example we know that uh, i'm just trying to intentionally fail this one here and now i will say else okay i will say else if this is not the case then what you should do okay so i will say simply i'm again logging the information log dot so let me paste it over here and here we say api failed okay and we'll print the status code as well now let's clean this one and run this one again and now if i go here go to the log viewer and see what happens over here so you see that the api failed block got executed this means that else got executed you see that this else got executed and it says that api failed and we got the status to it so when you are working with the jmeter so in order to get a, this kind of scenarios where you need to check okay if this is true then give me this if this is false just give me this okay so these are scenarios you can handle using the if else here i'm just giving you a very basic scenario you are checking that the status code which you are getting through the api you are just verifying that if the status code is 200 then api is okay if the status code is not 200 then api is not okay this means that api is not working for example and now you will see that it will execute the if block here so if block says api response is okay and 200 so that's how you can work with the if else statement when you are working with the groovy in the jmeter thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial